you're like, hold a woman, you might have a tendency to hoard a little. I don't hoard. Well, if you do, you're about hoard. to find out how to resurface, repurpose that old stuff into functional furniture. I just save things that I might need later. <laughs> Celebrity designer and author of Dirty Little Secrets of Design, Frank Fontana, is going to show us how it's done. Hello, Frank. How are you? Good to see you. I did hear, though, your purse was kind of like, oh, your place oh. Dumps or dies, so. That is rude. As a matter of fact, I found this bike wheel. <laughs> Next to her bowling ball. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, I found a couple cool ways to repurpose some old items you might find at thrift stores, uh -huh. shops, starting with bike rims. Now, I put together this idea of how do you take a chandelier and bring it down to earth with a bike wheel and some mason jars, and this is what happened. That's some zip ties. That's actually very, cool. very funky. Very, very funky. funky. Kind of adorable, even for you. Thanks. Really. I appreciate yeah. that. How did you get the mason jars to stay up there? What zip ties. Oh. Very high tech. Simple. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> this is what we use here. Now, if you want to add a little embellishment to it, a little color and style, there's this cool stained glass spray paint that makes it look kind of like this. Oh, that's neat. Which is which is fun. And if you wanted to add a little, you know, detail, you could do a tape job just through the center, so you get a little light peering through. Yeah, a little too fancy. I, I kind of stuff keep you up at night all night long. Literally, <laughs> my garage is like Sanford and Son. That, that's, that's why this looks like this. So. All right, so another use another, the wheel. Bike wheel. another yeah. wheel. But this is cool. So this is wood edge banding that you would typically finish a piece of plywood. Uh -huh. I use it to give it a little embellishment inside the rim nice. and to hang some pots you just use some s-hooks latch it on that is and there very you go. cute you can't hate on that one and where That's you get cool. the, this embellishment these are finial so you, you can either use fence, to, fence top they come finials. from the country of finial right yeah finland they make them there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. or you put them as, as you know bumpers where molding meat so you know you just go down the hardware aisle and you find little fun things to Stick on them. And next one is yeah, um, okay. yeah. Christmas ornaments, wreaths, and stuff like that. Always end up either getting thrown out or buried in the bottom of boxes. I found new ways to use it. So this is a, a wood wreath that we added some uh, outdoor vine wire that you would mm -hmm. use to kind of tack onto stuff. And you just loop it around, create three points so that you have a hanging point. Oh, it's another chandelier? It's a lighting element. <laughs> okay. And this is an old island. we don't have enough chandeliers. No, right? And they they That's all not so a great together, That's too. That's a pot rack. That's a pot rack, Hoda. Now, when you put I it all together, Hoda, hater, <laughs> you go like this, <laughs> and boom, it should stay in there. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't it be yeah. sad? I had a different charger, but it broke in the shipment. Yeah. But that's that, that is cute, huh? Cute. And these guys... Those are battery-powered candles. Oh. Yeah, that's exactly what's good. You can show what it looks like inside. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't touch the stuff. <laughs> All right, so finally, this is one of my favorite projects, and I know you got to appreciate this. So oh. old instruments, drums, guitars, you find them all the time at thrift shops. I found this one with no strings. I was like, what am I going to do with it? So I, I slapped on some chalkboard paint on okay. the surface. Cool for notes. Get it? Notes. Mm -hmm. Right? And then uh, on this side is code racks. That's neat. That you mount this to a wall, and you got this really oh, cool. No, I function. think that's adorable. That is, that's clever. Yay. That's clever. Yeah. One, I love it. Okay, okay, so that's that. And finally, picture frames, that's another thing you always find laying around. Uh -huh. You know, you get old, you, you replace them. Right. So I found a couple old ones, and I made an iPad holder <gasps> out of it. That's genius. Thank you. No, finally. That is genius. And that is so great. I'm going to turn it around, and all I do is mount in some wires. I built this little wood box so you can store some pens and pencils. Put this why, you should, you're doing why pictures you do on the loop? Is it like the picture on the loop on your iPad? That? Yeah, but you know, they, they sell them all the time. You know, you see these new things like digital picture frames. Uh -huh. so yeah. Instead of going to spend 50 bucks on a digital picture frame, you own an iPad already. Stick it in there and Stick then it take there. it out when you need it and put it back Exactly, because the way it's mounted in is with Velcro. Yeah. So you just pop it off Smart. and there you go. That's, That's actually all good. You did yourself yes, today. Yes, you did. Yay. Yay.